having a very special time with this herd of elephants that I'm going to call the tuskless herd from now on. That is one with tusks, obviously, but just over here there are two calves walking past. They have no tusks. They are quite small, but they're big enough to have just that first eruption of the tusks. And I think the reason for their lack of tusks will become apparent to you very shortly. Now, we've seen these elephants before, and the one that Seb is now showing you has got no tusks. And I think she is the mother of at least one of these, and possibly the grandmother of one of them too. Oh, one of them's got a little bit of a cold, sniffle. And they're just walking both sides of us. It's a very special sighting. They're so close by that I'm just being nice and quiet. <laughs> oh, look, isn't it sweet? And there goes one with tusks. She's got a slightly, um, I don't know how to put too fine a point on this, uh, distended vulva, can I say that on live television? Um, but if you look, she looks like she's in a bit of difficulty there, and I wonder if she is either, not either, she, uh, she's definitely not pregnant, I don't think, but maybe she's an estrus. This is a very special little sighting, everyone. They're just completely ignoring us. I think they've had their drink at the Chitwa Dam, and now they're moving away. And here is, I think, the lady responsible for the tusklessness of the herd. Lori, you ask, of course, an obvious question, which I perhaps should have answered, but you say, why don't they have tusks? I think it's totally genetic. And sorry, this is the slightly younger one, the tuskless one. I think the matriarch, who is also tuskless, is the one going to come out here, um, just over there. She's just slightly bigger, Seb. You see her there? And I think that's her. They'd be about to be removed from the car by this tuskless elephant car. <laughs> Seb, I'm afraid, was unable to swing past close enough to be able to... <laughs> you can do it now, you can go the other way. She's right here. She looked like she was going to reach into the car and pull Sebastian st <laughs> straight out. <laughs> Here she is. Magic Wolf, you are a new viewer. It's wonderful to hear your new name. And you're wondering, obviously, is this happening like right, right, right now? The delay between us seeing this and you seeing it is probably about three and a half seconds. So yes, it is happening right here, right now, completely live out of the northeast corner of South Africa, the western fringes of the Greater Kruger National Park, and you are looking at some elephants with us, completely live. How cool is that? Live safari from wherever you happen to be in the world. So you can see that the genetic origin of the tusklessness runs strong, or the genetic line of tusklessness runs strong in this herd. Now we know of course that the females in a herd are normally closely related to each other, and so the tusklessness is not surprising. If we found it in one, it's not surprising that we find it in others. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. And there, the astounding foot structure 
of the elephant even when you've got a tiny little elephant like that which is they're not that tiny I mean they're probably that elephant I would imagine weighs between 250 and 300 kilograms which is a substantial amount it's as much as a, a zebra stallion Yeah, tormented zombie owl, I'm not sure. I mean, we were looking at that cow that, I'm not going to repeat what I said, but a distended sort of uh, opening underneath. And you say, is that common in elephants with, in estrus, in the same way that males... Um, <laughs> another small one behind us, just saying hi. Uh, is it common, is it normal, in elephants that are in estrus in the same way that it is for males who are in must. Tormendi zombie owl, I don't know, I've never heard of it happening, but we do know that males follow females in estrus, they pick it up out of their urine. It wouldn't surprise me at all if they were about to ovulate, that they should have some kind of discharge, using all the lovely words this afternoon, <laughs> some sort of discharge, which the males might then pick up on, and uh, yeah, so I think that's quite possible but I'm not sure.